Today we are going to start our Frank Lloyd Wright kind of stained glass inspired window. You are going to be, your final work will be using a transparency with black masking tape and colored sharpies. But to begin today, you are going to start planning and sketching for this final artwork. So you will need a 9 by 12 piece of paper. I'm going to put it the landscape way. And I'm just going to divide it in half. This is just a sketch, so it does not have to be perfect. And we will not be using a ruler for these sketches. As you can see, I have divided it in half. And I have a few different kinds of ideas. Okay, so to start, again, I'm not going to use a ruler. And a good way I like to start to keep it even and symmetrical is to divide it in half and to divide it in half. Now, when I do my final one, I would measure it, but right now I don't need to measure it. Then I think I really like the big um, diamond look. So I think I'll start with that. And then I think it might be interesting and to do some lines here. And then I can think about, too, the thickness of the tape. So I think that if I went in, I could add maybe another detail here with tape. Something like that. And then this is kind of, I think I need a little bit of something more interesting here. So maybe I would do kind of another diamond, but do kind of a different shape diamond. And that's a good first design. Then I think I'm going to try something else over here. Maybe I'll divide my paper this way instead. And then maybe I'll put I'm doing just different designs. A little maybe I'll divide the tape in half here. And then maybe I'll do some bigger lines. Triangle here. Again, I don't think it doesn't, they don't all have to be symmetrical. If I fold it this way, it does not have to be the same, so I think I'll keep it that way. Okay, so there's another design, but I'm going to keep going. I want to try something different. You could also do a, a window with just lines. Okay, random lines don't necessarily have to um, make specific shapes. Again, when you do these windows and these sketches, you're using tape, which is straight. So you want to make sure that you are doing straight lines and geometric shapes. And for me, I think I like doing more of a plan, kind of geometric, um, symmetrical design. So I think um, I'm going to start in half here, and then I'm going to divide it in half here and here, and then I'll go from there. So maybe I'll do a big triangle. But you are going to take some time today to do four different sketches. Then of the four, you should be able to choose your favorite for your final artwork. Go ahead and do four different sketches. Once you've finished your four sketches, you're going to decide which one is your favorite. And as I look at these, I think this one is my favorite. So I'm going to transfer that to my final artwork. You are going to get a transparency, and on the transparency is a white sheet of paper. You're going to do your final sketch on your white piece of paper. You're going to notice it's being held together by a thin yellow kind of piece of glue. You're just going to pull that apart and make sure you keep track of the transparency even though we're not using it right away. So I'll just set that very carefully to the side. Now for this final one, I'm going to do it exactly as here. This is the side of the size of the transparency. I need a ruler and my sketch. And I want to draw really lightly so that you can erase. So this is your only sheet of paper you'll get today. You can use the back if you make a mistake, but we're trying to just do it one time. So it looks to me like this is kind of a good place to start. And most of you may be starting that way depending on your um, design. So I'm going to divide it in half here. So eight and a half 
Notice how my ruler is matched up directly with the edge there. Eight and a half divided in half is four and a quarter. So I'm going to put a little dot at four and a quarter. I'm going to do the same thing at the top as I do want it to be straight. So I have a line four and a quarter, four and a quarter, and then I am going to connect the two. So I have a nice straight line. That's a good way to start. Then I'm going to flip it and do the same thing on this side as I have kind of an X going through here or a T. 11 divided by 2 is 5 and a half. 11 divided by 2 is 5 and a half. And again, I'm going to take my ruler, hold it in place, and I have a good start here. So you can see my design. Then I think I'm going to start by doing my big diamond. And to do my big diamond, I'm going to connect these two lines go all the way around again I'm going kind of fast you want to make sure you're going nice and slow really thinking about the best way to go about measuring and making it straight and look nice then I think I'll go ahead and do these lines right here and one thing with this ruler is it's nice and wide so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it where I think it looks centered and I'm going to put a line at the top a line at the top and not even move it and put a line at the bottom a line at the bottom then I think I will do the same here line at the top line at the top line at the bottom just like that and I have nice lines then I have that small detail going down here so I'm gonna put my ruler look look straight and I'm not even gonna pick up my ruler I'm just gonna continue that line and I will do the same over here. Draw that line, draw that line. And then it looks like my last step is my diamond in the middle. So I think I'll put a dot here and a dot here. That's where I want my diamond to go. And then I'm going to connect there. So Make sure, again, you are using your ruler. If you need help with measuring, <clears throat> remember it is 8.5 divided by 2 is 4 and a quarter. And 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. Go ahead and start planning your final design. Once you have your final design, you are going to want to take your transparency and set on top. Okay, we're going to be using that as a guideline. You are also going to be using black masking tape today. And before you begin, what we're going to do is we're all going to do a border. Just like this. The width of the tape. As you can see that border. So I kind of took some pieces. You're not going to have, each can have your own roll. So you're going to want to take off some pieces and put it at your table spot. You will also need some scissors. So I'm going to take my piece I just cut, and I am going to start and set it on the edge. So I am going to carefully, I apologize if my head is in the way here. Oops, and if it gets stuck, you just have to carefully pick that up. I think I'm going to actually move that paper. I don't want to get it taped to the paper. So I'm going to do the border, and I will show you here in just a moment. I'm going to tape the border, and then I'll cut off any little extras here. And I may use those, so I'll put those on the side. As you can see, I have my first border. Then I'll go ahead and I'll do my second border. Okay, see my second border. This is definitely a piece I could use. I am going to save this. Then I'm going to do my third border going right up to the edge here. And we want it to look nice and neat. So and here's another very usable piece. I'm going to make sure I keep that. Make sure the edges look really nice. Cut anything off like that. And then my last one here. This will give it look nice. You'll kind of be able to see it better in the window if it's all a border. Now I'm ready to start doing my design. 
So again, I'll flip this over. And I think where I want to start is this diamond again. So, and I'm going to do the width of the tape. So I am going to need a little bit more tape here. Okay, that looks about right. And I'm going to carefully tape. And again, and I'm going to come back and I'll kind of cut some of these at the end here. I'm just going to keep going though. And then, oh, I want to make sure it's matched up here nicely. Okay. Like so. And if it changes a little bit as you are doing this, that's okay. So the border kind of changed it a little bit just because it adds a little thickness. That's okay. Then there we are. And then I can go, once I'm done with that, and I can carefully kind of cut off any things that went a little bit too long. Okay. Now I think as I look at this, I'm going to do some thinner lines. So I think I'll do thick, thick, and then thin. So I'm going to take any extra pieces that I have here. Okay. Just like that. Do another one and another one. And then what I'm going to do for this line is I'm going to cut my tape in half. So I'm going to take a little piece of tape here. And again, you're sharing with the people at your table. And I'm going to cut it in half. You could also cut it in thirds if you want, but half is usually pretty, pretty good. Cut it in half. Here we go. And then that way it's a little thinner, and I can go ahead and put it down. I can rip it there instead of cutting it. And there we go. Now I would continue doing this. I would tape this. I would certainly tape this line. I would certainly tape this line. Okay, and you keep going until your window design is complete. As you see here, I have lots of detail. Okay, I've used thin lines. I've used thick lines. So keep, go ahead and start taping your artwork. Once you have finished and you have taped your artwork, we are going to add color. So you, you can see here I have added different colors, but I've also left some blank where you see the white here. And you won't necessarily have white paper underneath, but I'm doing that for the sake of the video because you can't really see it on the black table. So I'm going to be coloring on the side where the tape is up, not on the back. Okay, but on the front where you've been doing all of your work, and you're going to get some colored Sharpies. And you can start by just choosing your favorite colors. The bright colors usually work really well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose this lime green. And I'm going to think about, I think I want these diamonds to be lime green, but I'm going to leave these little sections blank. And when you're coloring with Sharpie, okay, these are nice new Sharpies. Just have to make sure you're doing nice craftsmanship, coloring everything, taking your time, going nice and slow. I like to start by outlining, and it's really nice with this tape, you kind of already have that automatic outline that'll kind of guide you as you're coloring. And then I think I will do the same color down here. But you can use as many colors as you want, thinking about what will look nice together, repeating colors, creating balance. So because I have lime green up there, I think it is balanced and looks nice when I have lime green down here. Okay, nice craftsmanship. Then I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do an orange. I think I'll do orange on this diamond and this diamond. And you are going to keep going and you are going to keep coloring until you have completely colored your artwork. Of course, making sure that you leave a few blank and it is completed and looks 
finished.